Tonight, the governor is responding to questions about how to treat the coronavirus. Just hours ago, he shed more light on the drug hydroxychloroquine and where it's being used in Florida to potentially help patients. News 6's Nikki Zizaza joins us with what he's saying about this drug. Nikki? The governor says this drug is being prescribed to COVID-19 sufferers and the president is calling it a game changer. However, health experts I spoke to say it's too soon to call it a cure. If it does help, great. If it doesn't help, we gave it a shot. Hydroxychloroquine is the drug President Donald Trump has backed as a potential weapon against COVID-19. In the weeks that followed the president's first mention, interest in the potential cure of the deadly virus spiked. It has not been proven yet that it will help in, in, in curing uh, uh, the corona uh, virus. Dr. Melshore Matarang with Premier Medical Associates says there isn't enough data about how the drug commonly used to treat lupus and rheumatoid arthritis will react to the coronavirus. We have to wait until we get a clear sign that one, it is safe, two, it is beneficial and it will not cause harm and what will be the, the therapeutic dose. On Tuesday, Governor Ron DeSantis identifying hydroxychloroquine as the drug physicians have been prescribing to treat patients during a briefing. And obviously, this is a novel virus, so there's not really an approved treatment regimen. One of the things that physicians um, have been using is this hydroxychloroquine, usually com uh, uh, combined with, with the Z-Pak. Florida Pharmacy Association issuing this letter to Governor DeSantis, claiming the drug's unproven potential is making it difficult for Floridians who rely on the drug to fill their prescription. I've reached out to physicians and just, you know, asked, hey, what's the deal with this? You know, where should we get more of it? Now officials with the Florida Pharmacy Association say they are still waiting to hear back from Governor Ron DeSantis office. This as the CDC maintains there are no drugs or other therapeutics approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Reporting in Orange County, Nikki Zaza getting results. News 6.